Kourtney Kardashian has revealed a terrifying incident in Australia convinced her she could never live down under. Her trip to Australia in February with her husband Travis Barker and three of her children was featured in an episode of her Disney Plus reality show The Kardashians, which aired this week. The couple was joined by her kids Penelope, 11, and Rain, 9, whom she shares with her ex-partner Scott Disick, and their baby boy Rocky, who was three months old at the time. The penultimate episode of season 5 of The Kardashians followed the family as they explored Sydney's tourist hotspots, including Bondi Beach and Luna Park. But Courtney said all had not been smooth sailing, admitting the worst part of Australia was its huge spiders. Footage showed a large spider scuttling across a wall as Courtney said in her confessional, so the only reason I could never move to Australia is for the spiders. It's just terrifying and it's just not the way I want to live my life, she added. Courtney also told her kids and the family's nanny Ali Garcia she had been nervously looking for spiders everywhere during the trip. And she came across more than one, even catching a huge huntsman spider, which are not generally considered to be dangerous under a glass in their lavish $10,000 a night Sydney accommodation, before removing it from the mansion. However, despite her encounters with arachnids, Courtney said she and her kids had all loved spending time in Australia. We've been having the best time, Courtney said after touching down to join Travis Down Under for his band Blink-182's Australian tour. Travis is touring to different cities in Australia for about a week, but because I was on bed rest before, and then having a newborn at home, I haven't really had any outings with my other kids, so really I wanted to stay in Sydney. On the Kardashians, Courtney and her kids were seen playing tennis, feeding horses, eating ice cream on the beach and enjoying meals out as they made the most of their time in the harbour city. Rain admitted his favorite part of Australia was the ice cream, while Penelope said of the trip, going to the beach was my peak, and my pit was that there was like a shark attack so I don't want to go in the water. However, a brave Rain replied, EH, who cares, one person we're gonna get bit, it'll take the risk. The family also enjoyed a lavish day out on a yacht with Travis bandmate Mark Hoppus and his wife Skye before they went on the famous roller coaster rides at Luna Park. I think these are the scariest rides Rain has ever been on, Courtney said. It's so rare to get two whole weeks of 24 to 7 time with my kids because of school and because they're with their friends. Courtney explained she had a nanny look after baby Rocky while they were in Australia so she could enjoy sightseeing with her older children. We haven't been using a nanny or a baby nurse with Rocky at all, but now that we're in Australia, it was important that we bring someone so I could leave the house and go out with the other kids and do adventures with them, she explained. So I really schedule each adventure, like around his nap and then I have a window of being gone for like, two and a half hours is my time where I feel like I am ready to go back. If I am leaving the baby I want to be super present and make the most out of it and having this memory with my kids and with Travis together is just really special, she gushed. Courtney and Travis also looked as loved up as ever on the trip as they packed on the PDA during one scene after the drummer arrived back in Sydney after touring with Blink-182. This is the longest that we haven't seen each other since the baby was born she said of their nine days apart while Travis jetted off to perform in Melbourne. However, Rain was unimpressed by their cozy displays as he hilariously told them, Stop making out with Travis, bro. Like didn't you just have a baby? Don't get another one this quick. But Courtney said to camera, I think it's a beautiful thing to see parents, especially ones that just had a new baby, be affectionate and loving. There's nothing wrong with that. While exploring the sights of Sydney, Courtney gushed over the perfect holiday and shared how grateful she was to have been able to join Travis Down Under. 
Australia really couldn't be more perfect so far, like I am so happy that I decided to come, she added.